Good evening. My name is Bernadette. Um, this is my floss tube channel and um, it is my second floss tube. Um, today is the 29th of June. It's around about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the evening um, and I'm in the middle of school holidays, so our mid-year school holidays. So I decided that I would make the video tonight. My floss tube is about cross stitch and needlework. Um, I dabble in all sorts of needlework, but I spend a lot of time doing cross stitch. I have quite a lot to share with you today, and um, I look forward to sharing it with you all. So I have a an Instagram. Um, I'm just trying to remember what I call it. If I call it Bet's Musings or if it's Bet. H, bet underscore H. I think it's bet underscore H. Um, I also have um, a, a blog um, that I haven't updated for a long time and I run a small needlework business selling needlework supplies. I haven't really, I don't really promote it um, a lot because I'm also a secondary school teacher and that takes up quite a significant part of my time. Since my last floss tube, a lot has happened. Um, Melbourne has endured um, two lockdowns. We had our one in February that where the lockdown started on the Friday and we were supposed to be taking our year sevens on camp on the Monday. Fortunately, we were able to um, reschedule the camp for later in the month and then um, and then we've just had three weeks back at school after another two week lockdown. Right now, there are a lot of Victorians um, that are uh, scrambling to get back home um, because unfortunately the Delta variant has gone out and in four of our states and it's because we've been so good at um, keeping COVID under control it does make it it means that those states are in lockdown at the moment or parts of those states so it's quite a tense time at the moment so let's have some fun with some embroidery and cross stitch and and just have a look at what's been going on and what i've done so i attend a um i go to a stitching group um when I can, it depends on lockdown. Um, but we have we have um, usually a ten to ten about once a month with um, a group that I belong to, the Green Barn. And unfortunately, we've had to miss two. I think two of them this year because of lockdown. But um, I've been to a couple and. At one of them I was able to finish off but not finally finish yet um, a very old chart by with thy needle and, and thread called love and be loved so I started this in February um, I can't remember the linen I stitched it on um, it's a linen that I um, that I purchased a very long time ago probably about 16, 17 years ago from Silkweaver, um, part of the Silkweaver Club. And so I'm not 100% sure what linen it is. Um, and I used the cord for threads. I think I had to use one thread, one DMC instead of a um, hand dyed, but I could be wrong. Looking at the, looking at the, um, the chart, I've got, actually got the chart pack here. Maybe I've got two labels in here for that fabric. It could either have been a Lakeside and Linens Exemplar or Silk Weaver Classics Heritage. Um, one was 32 count, the other one was 28 count. So I'd just have to check to see what the count is. So that's my only finish for the last couple of months. Teaching full time, I tend to. Um, come, I'm either come home from work absolutely exhausted or um, I come home from work and do some more teaching, more work for school. 
I really need to spend more time on my stitching. I apologise for the yellow tinge. Um, I went to put on the overhead lights and there's one just here and it shines straight into the camera. So I thought you don't particularly, probably don't want to see that. So I've got my desk lamp on um, which is putting out the yellow um, tinge for the um, for the video. Another project, so now I'm going to look at the projects I've been working on over the last few months. So I'm still, yes, still working on um, the Christmas Christmas Carol um, project from Stitching Book Club. And you can, um, I have done quite a bit on that. Um, I don't think I had finished off um, all of the these. Um, but I definitely had not done the um, the squares around it. So there's still a lot to be done, well, still quite a bit to be done, but it's getting there. It's not far off. So I'll have to get back to that one, but that's not on my list for this month. Another project that I've been working on, which a lot of people around the world have been working on, is Jane Fitter's 1835. I just love her, really, really love her, and I've been mostly doing working on her at the Wednesday night um, group um, with these, the Wednesday night group that I go to. So last last time I saw you, I had not got very much of it done at all. I had done some of the the green um, border, but I had not done any of um, any of these and I hadn't done any of the alphabet so I haven't touched this one for over a month but I will be getting back to her she is just such a gorgeous stitch I'm using the called for a vera soir and I think I'm stitching her I want to say on parchment but it could be straw Weeks die weeks. It's a Vigart base. She is absolutely gorgeous to stitch on. And this little thing here, I love how people have little bits of bling with their um, with their thread keeps and or their thread drops. And this this particular little darling comes from um, a company in Tasmania and they do planners. And I get a um, planner box from them once every two months. And that was in one of the planner boxes. And it's just gorgeous. So like so many people around the place, I have been, I have jumped on the bandwagon and started working on Blackbird Designs with um, once a month on the first weekend of the month. Well, what I'm working on is a um, snow garden. Now, as you can see, she's just a beautiful thing. And I'm not going to be doing the whole series, um, just, just the one. And I do apologise for any glare from my glasses. It's just that it makes it so much easier for me to see. Now, with snow garden, as you can see... I had done quite a lot of snow gardening. I don't like the fabric. I just don't like the fabric. I don't like the colour. I don't like the fact that some of the fab some of the threads are very hard to see on it. And I just don't like permin. I'm sorry, permin is is a good quality linen. It is a very good quality linen. But I don't like stitching on it. I really don't. So I've put this one aside and said I'm not working on, I'm not work doing it on this. And for the first time in 30 years of stitching, I had a go at dyeing my at tea dyeing or at dyeing my own fabric a, a while back and tea dyeing it. And Using my own tea dyed linen, 
which is using a the Zweigart base and I think it's a white base and yeah I'm pretty sure I tea dyed it I have restarted so that's all I've got done from um, Snow Garden so Snow Garden will be worked on again this weekend and I can't wait to do it Snow Garden is being stitched with all the cord falls and I understand Brenda and Laura. How does Nicole get her thread her threads to always sit so nicely? It is so annoying that they look like a dog's breakfast. Oh, that's life. So that's one of the so I've done a little bit on that. And I've really enjoyed working on her. Now, one that I have been loving working on, absolutely loving this one, even all the Algerian eyelets. So the story behind this next one is that my, when I lived in Europe, I became very good friends with a, a number of women. Um, and one of them was Annemiek Kony from De Huntworth Boutique. And last year we were talking and we both, realized that we loved we both loved Stacy Nash's Hannah Jenkinson isn't she just divine but from there to there with the exception of that dividing band just there it's Algerian Islands I love my Algerian eyelets. I do. But they take forever. So Anamique is so much further along than what I am. But isn't she just gorgeous? Ignore all those knots. They're away knots. I have to just I have the just parked there I'll be fixing them up later now each one of these letters can take an hour I'm not kidding I know I'm a slow stitcher but really one hour to do one letter are you for real so Annemiek and I have been working on this I'm working on I think it's 36 count I want to say 36 count parchment by Weeks Dyeworks. Um, maybe I'm working on 32 count. I could well, um, I don't know. It's 36 or 32 count parchment. Annemiek's working on a different linen and hers looks just as gorgeous. You have to check it out. She's also got a floss tube and you have to have a look at her floss tube. So Annemiek was awesome and she did a um, floss conversion to Avera Swiss silks. So I'm one where I will have silks on thread drops basically because if you have a look at um, things like um, Gloriana and Karen Collection and, um, other, and who else? Silk and Colours. They all use this type of thing like silk and colors not so much but there are quite a few where they use this type of thing and and hang them to be hung in the stores so I don't see that there's a problem with using the thread drops other people do and that's okay everyone's got their own preference so these are the threads that I'm using now you'll see that for example this one I've only got a small amount there. That's because um, this particular thread is either with Jane Fitters or with Anne Morrison. And rather than getting another skein and only need and not needing one whole skein for two projects, I decided to um, just grab what I needed from the other um, project and just grab a, a, a length or two and put it on this one 
If I need to get some more, I'll get some more. But I'm not going to get it unless I need to. And I've done that with another one. Where is it? So there's another one. There's another one that I've done it with. So I think they're the only two I had. To, oh, and I've got another one that I will probably need to do it with at some stage. I made these thread, thread drops myself. They so a magazine that we get here is I think this one it was Home Beautiful or House. They had these in um, these gift tags just as a giveaway with it one year I wasn't using them so I decided to use them as thread drops instead so that's Hannah Jenkinson love her absolutely love her but oh my god those Algerian eyelets they are really taking up a lot of time now the last project that I've got um, going and I really didn't think I had been working on all that much at the last couple of months but it would appear that I'm wrong okay all right. so I'm sure you've all heard about virtual stitch camp um, I think it's Colorado cross stitcher um, she uh, what an awesome idea I think that it's an absolutely fantastic idea so um, I decided that I was going to jump on board more than midway through the month of course and um, I belonged for the two years that she did it to the handwork boutiques on a mix um, pin drum club and this was one of the projects I love it just absolutely love it so Plum Street as you can tell the Plum Street Sampler's um, pin drum. I'm sure that it's now been released because this is when was this produced? 2019. So if it hasn't been released yet, maybe this year or next year it'll be released. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And tomorrow is the 30th of June. I don't know about you. But I don't think it'll be finished. I really don't. Would you believe I was at a 10 to 10 on Saturday? Now, granted, I didn't spend the whole time stitching. I mean, who does? There's a lot of catching up to do, especially when you haven't seen people for a little while because of lockdowns. But I did... From there down on Sunday. 10 to 10. I'm not kidding. 10 to 10. Now, mind you, I did stop for dinner. I did we had a good dinner. And I did stop for lunch and ducked out for a while because I needed to try and find a DMC thread because my local spotlight didn't have it and I was not far from a larger spotlight <laughs> they didn't have it um so that was probably about half an hour there and there were a few other things and wandering around and having a chat with people but still 10 to 10 <sighs> I'm taking her with me tomorrow I'm going to so these friends we're catching up again tomorrow and I'm go, going to be spending the day with one of them and hopefully I'll get at least the house done but I can't see myself getting this project finished for this month that's okay that's okay okay so my finished object not yet fully finished Going back to that, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking a nice hand dyed velvet. Maybe in something like that. What do you reckon? Problem is trying to find it. Lady Dot Creates does, has some nice ones, but she doesn't sell direct to Australia. 
so I'm gonna ha I have to try and find somebody who does stock it <sighs> and then say well okay postage and that but I'll try I'll try and find it so that's that I really want finished and I there's a, I've got another project that I also want to use um a hand um a hand dyed velvet or velveteen um which is a, a very old um reward of merit blackbird design so and I need it in a blue colour so that's that's the projects that I've got going so next month I have two projects that I want to be working on so I pick and choose with Stitching Book Club I really do because I'm not interested in all the books <laughs> not that I've started this one yet but I've decided to do Little Women so this is the first installment haven't started it yet of course um, I'm thinking of doing it on a linen that I got from Anamique it was um, it's a fat quarter but it's quite a large fat quarter and of course somebody who's been stitching for 30 years still has to get the DMC threads that's the one that I had to get the um, thread for so that's one of my plans for the month another one is as Laura and Brenda say gotta have a rework sampler going well the last time I worked on this one oh my goodness it was five years ago it was five years ago because I had it on display at a show and it was the prelim final weekend and I know I know that because I finished the show at the on the Saturday at four o'clock I want to say and I hightailed it out of there my beloved Western Bulldogs was in the prelim final and we had our hearts in our mouths because this was our first prelim final since around about 2009 our previous nine prelim finals we had lost and we just wanted to win it was an awesome game um, it is one that when they did when they did a retrospective last year of the best games in the last 50 years it was number two I can't remember who was number one I really don't care but this game was such an awesome game it was number two so if anyone wants to watch an, um, an AFL game that one is one to watch it was awesome and the other one to watch came in at number four as the best 50 uh, the best 50 games in the last 50 years and that was the 2016 grand final which was played a week later and my beloved Bulldogs won it so proud of them so that's why I can remember when was the last time I worked on this September 2016 I'm not kidding it's Anne Womack by Shakespeare's Peddler and isn't she just gorgeous lover 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 and I'm stitching her using a Valdani hand dyed linen I'm not sure I think um, she's just being stitched on a no she's not being stitched on a, just a plain old piece of um, swagger it's a hand dyed piece of swagger because it's not a full fat quarter so I think it's 13 inches by 13 inches or 18 oh, it must be 18 inches by 8 uh, I'm not sure I don't know but it's one that's um, again from Silkweaver so that's what I'm working with it is 
gorgeous and is absolutely lovely. So this is one of the ones I want to work on this in July, along with Little Women. I also want to do a lot more. So every Sunday night I'm working on Hannah Jenkinson with Anna Meek. And just keep things together nice and neat so that when I put them away, they'll be put away properly. So I'm going to work on that one. Um, I've got Little Women, Hannah Jenkinson. I will do more on this, even though I won't get it finished. And I will show you in a moment the project I've got planned for Stitch Camp for July. But before I get to that, I'm going to go through my haul because this particular project is my most recent acquisition in cross stitch so I'll have it towards the end of my haul so through I wasn't going in my last video I said that I wasn't going to get a lot of haul this year <sighs> yeah okay lost you lost you so one that um, one of my favourite magazines is this one so it's a sample and antique needlework quarterly. Now for Australians, very, very easy to get. Okay. Now I can get it in for you. I'm happy to do that. But have a chat with Cruel Goberlin. There's another one in Sydney that I've been to and love their store. I can't remember their name at the moment. Um, where they used to be, where they used to be, there's an absolutely fantastic French cafe there. Brilliant. The, the cafe is actually in the backyard and oh my goodness it was gorgeous. So you've got Cruel Goblin and you've got Linen and Threads. You've also got in Melbourne I know exactly where she is. And she used to be in Brighton. In fact, she used to be down the road from where my daughter works. Um, do you think I can remember her name? So, Bustles and Bows out at, not Warburton, Warren Dyke. Bustles and Bows. And then this other one. Oh my goodness. Just off the Nepean Highway. Um, but I'm happy to get it for you as well. It's not too expensive um, and quite frankly if you if you do like if you get if you contact them and they can order it in from the US distributor it took a week to get to my place. A week. It can take twice that to get from Queensland to my place. It took a week for it to get to me from the states okay so this is the complete collection of sample and antique needlework quarterly i have quite a few of the magazines but i stopped getting them probably for five years before they closed down and before they stopped the magazine um so i was really happy to get the disc I do wish that they had it as a downloadable, but I can understand why they don't. So I've got that. I also have, and I was going to get it started, I also have, um, with my needle and threads, Jelly Bean Jubilee. Now I saw recently that they've got some, she's got some really cute Halloween ones coming out. Hmm. I just love them. I just absolutely love them. So, not my usual style, I know. I'm trying to avoid the glare. Not my usual style because I go for the a lot of samplers, but I love these and I'm looking forward to doing a few of them. And I have some gorgeous fabrics that both from when I was in um, in Europe and from the last 12 months that I could use for these. Now, a lot of these are on 40 count. 
You don't have to sit on 40 count. You really don't. I would probably be looking at doing these on 36 count. I use these glasses and a magnifier and I don't have a problem with 36 count. If I'm working on 40 count, I have stronger glasses that I wear. Now, I'm somebody where up until about, I would say about eight years ago, 10 years ago, never needed glasses in my life. But I've needed them for the last eight years. And it was through doing a, um, a hand embroidery project that, I'm, that I've got going, and I'll show you next time, that I started um, using a magnifier. <laughs> Changed my life. It's just, it, I just ducked across from the Embroiders Guild to Lincraft, bought it from Lincraft. I use, I have a, um, it can be, it's either battery operated or mains operated. And I, you can use it with a, um, a, a battery pack. And I've got, a, I just picked up a battery um, pack from JCAR. And I use that. It's been, I used it 10 to 10 on Saturday. I've recharged it so it's ready to be used tomorrow. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. So if it says 40 count, you can do it on 30 count. Uh, sorry, 36 count. You could probably even do it on 32 count without it really making that much of a difference. But it does say 40 count in that. Sorry about any crinkling, but between the overhead light and the um, packages, you're better off seeing it without the bag. So, isn't she gorgeous? Betsy Snyder. Love her. Absolutely love her. You know, I wonder about the name. Hmm. But... So this one is stitched on 36 count using American ch chestnut. I will probably use, ooh, ooh. I could even use one of those. Hmm, I'll show you those linens in a minute. So that's another one that I absolutely love. She's stitched with Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works, which used to be known as Crescent Colors. So if you're looking at my website and you see Crescent Colors, that's because I don't promote my business, so I've got a whole lot of crescent colours there. It's the same thing. Same thing. Classic colour works, crescent colours, same deal. Love Betsy Snyder. And of course, I love Blackbird, Blackbird designs. So I've got it in Friendship's Way. And oh, just thought of something. I have seen it recently seen a sample I think that I really like from here or have I? Hmm. I thought I had. Haha <laughs> I had. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Stitched on 32 count mellow from Picture This Plus using crescent colours and gentle art. Simple threads. Oh, love it. And I love the button box that's in here as well. There's a few projects in there that I can see myself doing if I ever sat down and really stitched. Absolutely love that one coming to my garden. I've seen a few people who have stitched this. Yeah, it's on my list of things to do. So maybe after I've finished. Uh, no. I'm going to come, I've got to decide what I'm going to do after I finish my Blackbird Designs one. Now, living in the Netherlands um, for eight years, I got to see some beautiful samplers. So quite often, so when I do see repros of Dutch samplers, of course I've got to go for them. And so this is from Hello Liz Matthews. Isn't it beautiful? Now, it's actually not that big. 
finished piece. Nine inches by almost seven inches. Oh, hang on. No. This is, no, the one that I love is actually quite big. So 36 count. Oh, ouch. 21 and a quarter inches by 22 and 3 eighths. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger than what I thought. Buy some of it. And I would still do it. I probably would do all of them, to be honest. Probably would do all of them. They're just so gorgeous. And one of the things I love with it is like, oh, as I told you, so that there, no, that there is that there. Isn't that gorgeous? And that one there is. There. You don't have to stitch the whole thing. Just take the little bits and pieces that you like out of it. I've always loved abom the, the story of the abominable, the abominable snowman. Yeah, I can't say that. It's like my son. When he was, um, so when he was very young, he was bilingual. So we spoke English at home. He spoke Dutch everywhere else. And he's trying to say one day, hospital. And he's, hop it, hop, hop, hop it, hop, hop, oh, for goodness sake, Zika house. Dutch for hospital is Zikken house. So he said Zikken house. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So, Abominable Snowman. Love it. This one is, what, 2020? So it's been around for a little while. But I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I've always loved reading stories about Bigfoot and the Yeti, which is, I think the Yeti is the Australian version. I don't know. Loved it. Another Blackbird Designs. Do I have all the Blackbird Designs? A joyous day. Oh, maybe I'll start that one next. Hmm. And then Christmas Rose. I've got too many things to start. And of course I've got Wings of Autumn, which a lot of people have gone through, so I'm not going to go through it now. Though, I mean, isn't that divine? So they were all the items that I got in, in, in an order. Now, something else that I love, and I've got a few of them just here behind me, and it's an Australian magazine called Inspirations. There's some really gorgeous designs in them. Now, these two, I didn't find anything that particularly appealed to me, but... Oh my goodness. Like, look at that. Isn't that just divine? That one's by Lawrence Lieblich from Switzerland. Then you've got, oh my goodness. Margaret Light. She does the most beautiful work. And people just really line up to do her her designs and then that was so that one was um i want to say that one was from april that's 110 yeah so that one was um 110 this one is um issue 109 i wonder if they've got another one out i'll have to go and have a look so that then there's also that one aren't they gorgeous so, oh, the Mark Park Canada. So, what's he using? Not sure. I 
And Jenny McGuinney does the most beautiful blankets. Isn't that gorgeous? I've done a good I've done a blanket. Loved doing it. Don't know what I've done with it, but I've done one. I did one when my kids were young. So they're an Australian magazine. Inspirations. Love it, love it, love it. Then I've um I have jumped into the whole world of buying on Etsy. I've long loved designs by Not Forgotten Farm. So I've got breast lace scissors. I've loved Home Place at Christmas for a very long time. So I know it's an old one, but oh my goodness. So this was done, this was originally stitched in 2007. That's how old it is. But I love it. Isn't that just divine? Good cheer. White Christmas. And kind words. Then a new to me designer, Little Robin Designs. And that's Clarissa Beaumont. So I've done quite, got quite a few there. So that, that's some of the projects that I've picked up. And then I know you've seen them. I know you've seen them. The Cruel Grab Ones Schoolgirl Sewing Club. So the first one, I know you've seen it, so I'm not going to go into detail with it, is this beautiful one from Sovereign Samplers. Margaret Braden's work, 1802. And I'll go look at this and decide whether I'm going to stitch that as my virtual camp or the second one which arrived almost two weeks ago and I'm going to actually be signing part of this tomorrow but not the actual project itself by Needlework Press MH 1860. So under virtual, the one of the challenges from the um, virtual stitch camp is to stitch a designer for this next month. Stitch a designer that you haven't stitched before. Well, I haven't stitched either. I have not stitched either. So which one do I choose? So if I look at the Margaret Bowden, she is, ooh, she's got our Julian Islets. I think that's decided it for me. I love our Julian Islets, but really, even if it's just the A-E-I-O-U, oh my goodness, it's, even if it's just A-E-I-O-U, why? I'm not sure I want to... Hmm. It's 95 wide by 149 high. Ooh, do I start that one? Or do I start this one? Which is 123 by 119. See, if I start this on Thursday... And I use my time wisely over the next week and a half. I might be able to get a bit done while I'm still on school holidays. To think about it. But in the meantime, is it short? Is it short? Is it, yeah. I'm going to be working on that with a friend tomorrow. So. There's the kit minus the threads. So I've got to work out Okay, I'm just looking at how to do this at the moment. 
yeah because I've got a show I've got it on it with a friend but that'll be fine we can do that tomorrow so just trying to decide whether or not I'm going to start on that one I think I will start on that one because I don't have to worry about the um, on Thursday because I, I don't have to worry about the um, the Algerian Islets are going to slow me down. So that are all the projects that I've got, including that beautiful new, um, two beautiful new samples kits. So yes, I'll be working on that one. Okay, so now we're down to fabric. So. I decided, like after being caught out with very few hand dyed fabrics and looking at them and saying, I don't really want to work on antique ivory all the time. I decided to purchase some thread. Oh my goodness. Just found. Oh. Just found um, something extra in my um, in my um, puzzle because I hadn't pulled it out of my puzzle yet. So this is thirty-two count vanilla from Extra Designs. The colour's not that great on the screen because of the yellow from that. This is beige grey. That's kind of like what it is. Again, 32 count. And then this one is doesn't look anything. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to do something about the light. Um, this one's Frozen Leaves from x Designs. So it's, a, it's a quite a, a greeny colour. So they are all absolutely lovely. And then watching Nikki's Noodles, I came across an Australian fabric dyer. Number 12 Stitch Company. This one is 32 Count Toasted Mallow. And then this one is 32 count salted caramel. And that's actually not far off the actual colour. And when I opened the parcel from her, and that took me that took two weeks to get to me. I ordered it the same day as I ordered the extra designs that arrived before that did. Go figure. In the parcel from number 12 Stitch Company, it's this beautiful little needle minder. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And then about two, three weeks ago, I was looking on the website again of number 12 Stitch Company and thinking oh, I'll need to get some more threads, uh, sorry, some more fabrics. And She's also got one for cats, but I love dogs. And then that one. What does it say? Sometimes it ends up different and it's better that way. Yeah, it's just your own design element. Whatever. And then this one is. Take time to make your soul happy. And each one of these comes with a pack of thread drops. Aren't they just gorgeous? She's got silver and brass and they are just stunning. And I got that those 
Now, of course, I couldn't have them come on their own. So, I've got Coco Crush. What's that? 32 count? 36 count. Coco Crush. And that's, that's actually not far off the actual colour. And then 32 count Antique Beach. Aren't they beautiful? So they are what I've um, what I've picked up in recent months. Oh, and she included that with it. Isn't that gorgeous? So that was so lovely of her. So now I can now that I've shown these, I can use them. And yeah, so tomorrow. I'm going to be working on that project from the Schoolgirl Sewing Club um, with my friend. And I'm also going to be working on some more on my peaceful home. Um, as I said, I don't think I'll get it finished. <laughs> I know I won't get it finished. Um, and then I think that's all I'll probably work on tomorrow. So, doing that um, purse, um, not the not the sampler itself, it'll be the purse, and then doing the uh, because I want to start the sampler on Thursday, and then working on my peaceful home. I think that's what I'll work on tomorrow at my friend's place. Again, I'll be there ten till ten, so. That will be a lot of fun. And then, yeah, I think that's all I have to share today. Oh, no. So, another interest of mine. I am interested in quilting. I'm not a big quilter. But at the 10 to 10 the other day was Margaret Moody. And she does the most beautiful quilts and the most beautiful designs. And this is her, I think this is her second book. I've got the other one as well. Um, it's in my sewing room. Um, but I, they're beautiful books, so I can really recommend them. So, I believe that's everything to share with you today. Until next time, and hopefully it won't be as long next time. Keep stitching and, um, and stay safe. Bye.